Good morning, boys and girls. We are going to round whole numbers, and it's important that you can round whole numbers as well uh, to a particular accuracy, uh, because you will notice that in many occasions, uh, for many answers in the future, you will have to round your final answer. So you have to be able to do so properly, and you can only, only do it properly if you understand what you're doing. All right, let's say you're at a sporting event and there were 2,915 spectators, okay? And the local newspaper who's writing an article about that sporting event uh, wants to round uh, the amount of spectators to the nearest thousand, yeah, because they don't want to write down 2,915. Would it be closer to the truth if that newspaper would have said there were about 2,000 spectators present or would it be close to the truth if they would write down there were about 3,000 spectators present? And I'm sure you agree that the correct answer would be 3,000 spectators. And why is that? Now, I've just drawn a part of a, of a number line. So we're rounding to the nearest thousand, yeah? And then I could put a 2,000 here, yeah? And the next thousand is a 3,000 there, yeah? Because this number lies between two and 3,000. I hope you realize that. And then between two and 3,000, exactly in the middle, would be 2,500. Okay, now where on this part of the number line, because I hope you realize that of course continues on both sides, where on this part of the number line can I position this number? Now that will be roughly, roughly here, yeah? I'm just estimating 2915 is roughly over there. So to the nearest thousand, it is much closer to 3000 as you can see, than it is all the way to 2000. Now, am I going to draw this number line every time I have to answer a question like this? No, I'm not. How do I, how do I approach it when I'm just looking at the number? 2,915, and I correct it to the nearest thousand. Well, the place value, what are my thousands? Yeah, these are my units, these are my tens, my hundreds, those are my thousands, okay? So the 2,000, I have two options. It's either gonna stay 2,000, so it's going that way, or it's going to 3,000, so that way. And that always depends only on the next number. If that is a five or a higher, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine, then the two will go up to a three. So indeed, in this case, it goes to 3,000, because it will be closer to 3,000 than it is to 2,000. If that next number, the hundreds in this case, would be lower than a five, a four, a three, a two, a one, or a zero, then the two would stay at two, and then the answer would be 2,000. Okay, now that's correcting to the nearest thousand, so the answer to the nearest thousand would be 3,000. Now let's say, in a different situation, they're asking me, now we want to correct it to the nearest hundred. So I draw a new number line, and I'll write down, so it was 2,915, yeah? And to the nearest hundred. Now what are my hundreds? Units, tens, hundreds. So the nine either stays a nine or it goes up till a 10, and that depends on the next number, okay? Is it a five or higher, then the nine goes up to a 10. If it's lower than a five, the nine stays a five. Uh, sorry, the nine stays a nine. Now, it is lower than a five, so this to the nearest hundred would be 2,900. And again, I want to show you that on the number line, where I have on one side 2,900, and on the other side, the next hundred would be 3,000. Yeah, and all the way in the middle you have 2,950, yeah? This is to the nearest 100. And where on this part of the number line can I position 2,915? Well, that is roughly, well, this will be 2,925, so somewhere, let's say, over here, 2,915. So it's much more closer to the truth to say, about 2,900 spectators, corrected to the nearest 100, then it would be to say about 3,000 spectators corrected to the nearest 100, yeah? Because simply, it lies nearer to 2,900 on the number line than it does to 3,000. 
Okay, now I want to give you one more example, um, and I'll do it on the same number line. If we would, um, if you would round it to the nearest ten, okay? So two thousand nine hundred and fifteen to the nearest ten. Now two thousand nine hundred and fifteen to the nearest ten. Well, then I'll have two thousand nine hundred and ten on this side. Two thousand nine hundred and 20 on that side, and exactly in the middle, 2915 to the nearest 10. What are my 10s? The 1 is my 10. It either stays 1 or it goes up to a 2, and that depends always on the next number only. It's a 5. It's exactly in the middle. It is the same distance that way as it would be that direction. And then we say the 5, it will go up. So this to the nearest 10 would be 2920, 2920 to the nearest 10. Now, um, I want you to have a look at some example questions in the next video, because I'm sure you can do that properly already. Okay, let's find out.